CBeebies Bedtime Stories are available on the BBC iPlayer app. CBeebies Bedtime Story. Hello, I'm Louis. I like to ask people questions. Lots of questions. This is my friend Peggy. She's a pigeon and she's always saying sorry. So I'm going to try to find out why. Peggy, why do you always say sorry? Do you sometimes feel like you have to say sorry? At this point, I began to wonder if I was pressing Peggy too hard. But then she answered. You really don't need to say sorry, Peggy. In fact, I have a bedtime story for you, which could be useful because it's about a... Sorry, Peggy, can I just do this bit? No, I'm saying sorry. Sorry! I think we need to hear tonight's bedtime story to put an end to all this apologising. It's called Peggy, the Always Sorry Pigeon, and it's written by Wendy Medor with illustrations by Carmen Saldana. Peggy was perched on a bus stop when three scruffy pigeons flew by. Oi, they grumbled. This is our perch. Sorry, said Peggy. I didn't mean to get in your way. Peggy flapped down onto the pavement when a road sweeper drove along. Shoo, she shouted. I can't stand pesky pigeons. Sorry, spluttered Peggy, flying off to the park. Oi! Pigeon toes, barked a dog, shaking water out of his coat. This is my bench. Oh dear, sobbed Peggy. I'm so sorry. Peggy started pecking at a crisp when, hey, called a voice. I've been watching you. It was a great big seagull. Sorry, gulped Peggy. I, I didn't see you. The name's Joan and stop saying sorry. You keep saying sorry when you haven't done anything wrong. Yes, I have, sniffed Peggy. I pinched the best perch at the bus stop. I got in the road sweeper's way and I sat on that dog's favourite bench. Nonsense, said Joan. You got pushed off your perch swept off your pavement and shoved off that bench by a very rude dog. Peggy blinked. Did I? Yes! You need to stand up for yourself. Sorry, sighed Peggy, but I'm not that sort of pigeon. Stop apologising, said Joan. For heaven's sake, say something else. Like what? asked Peggy. Like anything, groaned Joan. The next day, Peggy was perched on the bus stop when the three scruffy pigeons flew by. Oi, they grumbled. This is our perch. Oh yes, well, pick pickled onions, mumbled Peggy. Again, but louder, whispered Joan. Peggy took a very deep breath. Pickled onions, she shouted. What? The scruffy pigeons blinked. You heard what the pigeons said. The three pigeons flapped and flew away. Just then, the road sweeper came along. Shoo! She screeched her brakes and covered Peggy in dust. Soggy hat! Sandwich, blinked Peggy, slowly lifting her head. Again, but louder, whispered Joan. Soggy hat sandwich, yelled Peggy. What? You heard what the pigeon said, squawked Joan. The road sweeper revved up her engine and zoomed away. Peggy and Joan flew over to the park. Oi, get off my bench, pigeon toes, barked the dog. 
Peggy threw back her shoulders. Ice cream, ketchup, pants, she said. Again, but louder, whispered Joan. Ice cream, ketchup, pants, trumpet, toes, shrieked Peggy. What? You heard what the pigeon said, beamed Joan. Joan and Peggy bobbed about on the lake until the sun began to set. Thanks for helping me stand up for myself, said Peggy. You're crumtastically, seagullastically amazing. Sorry, I'm what? Blushed Joan. Peggy giggled, then puffed out her chest feathers. You heard what the pigeon said. Wow, I think Peggy learned a very valuable lesson. You only need to say sorry if you've done something wrong. And when someone is unkind, sometimes we need to puff up our chest feathers, take a deep breath and stand up for ourselves. Here's how I'd do it. Jelly breakdance bears? Magic tiger apple? Hmm. I'll work on it while you get your sleep. And I'll be back to read you another bedtime story very soon. Good night. Big frisbee fudge? Ah, Bedtime Stories is the perfect way to end the day. And you can watch more celebrity readers on CBeebies Bedtime Stories on BBC iPlayer.